Okay, today we're at the Elsie Cemetery in Matarenka. Now, if you've never watched the movie We of the Never Never, I suggest you go and find that movie, download it and watch it. Let's go have a look through the cemetery. Elsie Cemetery, a lonely place just beyond the slip rails. Oh, there's a bit of information there. I'm not going to tell you about that. Yeah, back a long way. Have a go at the um, termite mounds that are in here. Can you see all those? It's getting around the tree. Look at that big one down there. That one's cracking, that one. Let's see if I can hide up here. Mm. Yeah, I've actually walked back so far. You ever notice, ever known what was inside a termite now? I wonder if the termites have just closed that all off and just stayed there. And of course, we're in a cemetery and it's windy. Look at that stand next to it, John. Look at that. Wow. The Elsie Cemetery is a place of national heritage. You are welcome to walk around. However, please show respect for those who are buried here. The Unknowns. There are several graves here at Elsie Cemetery where the occupants are yet to be positively identified. These include the following. Wow. wow. They've got um, signs for each person. That's pretty cool. Up here we've got in memory of the unknown. And then in memory of W.M. Miller, a traveller who died in 1901. William Miller, a gold miner who died at Elsie Station. Mrs. Jeannie Gunn mentioned that his death was in 1901. No records have been found recording his death. Only his burial is recorded here together with George Hughes in an unknown grave in this group. In memory of Hughes, a traveller. George Hughes, a young horsebreaker from Croydon in Queensland. Born around 1874, Hughes died of malarial fever on the 4th of March 1899. His grave is one of the original four at Elsie Cemetery prior to the gun era. William Neves, born in 1858 in Wollongong, New South Wales. Neves travelled through New South Wales, Queensland and the Northern Territory walking, working at Whitecliffs, Warbrecon and MacArthur River Station. He was taken ill at Birdham No. 3 Well, north of Larimar, where Neves' mate Jack Brown assisted him to Warlock Ponds at Elsie Station. He died, he died some 10 days later, 23rd of July 1902. In memory of John McLennan, the Seguin Scott of the Never Never, born 1869, died 1932, whose remains were located to this cemetery about 1945. The Dandy. Henry Herbert Bryant died November 17, 1938, aged 71, and the quiet stockman John McLeod died October 14, 1960, aged 86, of We of the Never Never, by Mrs. Aeneas Gunn, are both buried at the Engaston Cemetery in South Australia. And here's an ex-serviceman. 2820 Private VC Raymond, 15th Battalion, also 
A T T A C 29th of September 1968 age 88 the dandy stockman he saw the vision splendid private nugget Raymond VC the dandy stockman born Queensland on the 24th of October 1882 nugget arrived in Catherine in the 1900 he was buried at Elsie in 1968 well known to mine host Tom Pierce, the licensee of Catherine Hotel. Some doubt exists as to whether he is the dandy stockman of Jeannie Gunn's book or that Jeannie was referring to Herbert Bryan, who was known as the dandy. What is known that Bryant cut timber on Elsie Station and went to become joint manager of Elsie with Dave Suddy up until the cattle were transferred to the Arafura Pastoral Company. Lee Ken. A Chinese cook who died at Elsie Station on the 18th of February 1903. Lee Ken was riding from Darwin to Daly Waters to take up the position of cook when he became ill during Chinese New Year at Elsie Station. The burial service was performed by the Maluka Aeneas Gun. In loving memory of the fizzer, Henry Ventilla Peckman. Born in February 1872 at Adelaide, Peckham was later a stockman at Renner Springs where he secured the mail contract on the death of Fred Stibe, the previous mailman, and Jack Heer, near Lake Brunet in the 1902 drought. The fizzer became well known and liked amongst the remote outback stations and was very conscious of the responsibilities of his post. In a vain attempt to deliver a letter seeking urgent medical attention for a seriously ill woman on the Victoria River Down Station, the fizzer drowned attempting to cross the flooded Dashwood Crossing at Campbell's Creek. His remains were recovered from the banks of Campbell's Creek and reinterred at Elsie Cemetery on the 14th of September 1944 by Brigadier Dollery of the Northern Territory Force. Poor bugger. This one down here looks like a solitary grave with a massive big fence around it and a big termite mound. Look at this, this is awesome. All right, here lies Mrs. Jeannie Gunn, OBE, the Little Missus. This memorial is dedicated to the little missus Jeannie Gunn, daughter of a Presbyterian minister, school teacher and authoress of We of the Never Never and the Little Black Princess. She was buried in her hometown Melbourne while never returning to Elsie Station. Her thoughts always remained with her husband Aeneas Gunn, the Maluka, and of the place called the Never Never. And of course Aeneas James Gunn, the Maluka. A pastor's son from Campbellfield in Victoria, a librarian of Praram, Melbourne, and a fellow of the Royal Geographical Society. Aeneas sailed from Melbourne with his cousin Captain Joseph Bradshaw on the schooner Gemini to Palmerston, Darwin, to take up management of Elsie Station in 1902, of which he owned a quarter share. Captain Joseph Bradshaw then went on to establish Bradshaw's Run. Aeneas Gunn died only a short time later on the 16th of March 1903 from malarial dysentery or black water fever, a common illness of these times.
I believe there's a couple of unknown graves here and there is a sign up the front. I'll show you that in a minute. There's one just there. Can you see that? I've got my sunglasses on today, guys, so I can't look through the um, screen properly to see where I'm pointing. Okay, it's so hot out here that um, my phone overheated, so I've had to go back and get John's phone. And I'll just show you a couple more things along the way in memory of the last survivor of we of the never never bet bet the little black princess dolly bonson who died in darwin on the 3rd of march 1988 aged 95. she sleeps awaiting her savior's return and the gift of eternal life So up here is a um, information board with the um, information of the unknown that are buried here. I'm not going to read it all out to you. I'll take a photo and I'll give you enough time in this video to be able to read it. It's just too hot for me to stand here and um, just read everything. That's it guys for Elsie Cemetery. Um, I do suggest you watch the movie We of the Never Never. It was made in about 1982. Um, look it up online and you'll find out what it's all about but it's a beautiful Australian movie. Yeah, thanks for watching again and see you at the next cemetery. Bye.